What's up, Fly Tires? Welcome to another Avid Max Fly Tying Tuesdays. My name is Brady, and today we're going to show you how to tie the Guides Choice hairs here. If you haven't heard of this fly, you are missing out. So we'll go ahead and start our thread. I'm tying on the Umqua Competition Series C400BL. It's an awesome barbless jig style hook. Uh, and then I'm using a Vibis 10 knot in red. Tenot has a really rich red color that I like a lot from Vivas. And then we have a slotted tungsten bead on there for a little bit of weight for this guy. Traditionally, this pattern is not tied jig style, but why not, right? So, first thing we're going to do now that we've kind of worked our thread base there is tie in our tail. So, we're going to use our hair's mask. There's our bunny, bunny face. And I stripped some uh, guard hair fibers, some pickier fibers that's going to be our tailing material. And we're just going to tie that in right out back. A good hank of it, you can kind of use that hook uh, gape to measure your clump to stay consistent. So we'll do some quick locking wraps on it, make sure we have the length that we like. And then we can work on forward. I always like to use this clump of hair to help build my body. Everything up there. Get all that extra under fur out of the way. And then we're going to tie in our ribbing material, which is going to be a little bit of French tinsel. I'm using just the medium gauge on this fly. I'm doing a size 12 today. We tie it in a range of sizes, most often done in the natural color. I should probably use some dark browns and things as well. Go ahead and secure that ribbing right on the side of our hook shank. And walk it up. Not too long there. Use some old scissors to clip it out. And then we can start to dub our abdomen here. I'm going to build up just a slight base to help keep this bead in place. That'll work. So we'll walk on back to where we tied our tail and our ribbing. And go ahead and dub our body with some natural hairs that you're dubbing. I'm going to forego the blending of my mask. Where is it? There it is. That's the, the one we're using. So this is just the hair's ear pre-blended hair's ear. Nice for efficiencies. You can always use your hair mask and pull out the under fur and blend yourself your own dubbing. You can mix in the guard hairs in doing so and kind of get a nice picky, unique dubbing by doing that. But this hair's ear blend from hairline is awesome as well. We'll have a pretty healthy noodle for this pattern. Go ahead and work that on up. Covering up our thread wraps and kind of keeping that tight noodle as we go. build a pretty decent profile to this bug. It's a nice attractive pattern. It'll imitate stoneflies and an array of bugs. So we'll keep working on forward. Just building that taper. And don't worry about it being picky. That's kind of a great aspect of the hair's ear dubbing is that it is nice and picky, real buggy looking. It's 
So a little bit more here, I'm gonna end it about a bead length back for the thorax. Just like so. That bead slid on me, go back to where you came from. There you are. And we'll rib it out. So we'll secure that French tinsel in place. Use some scissors that I've worn out to clip that out. And then we're gonna come in with our peacock, which is our under material for the soft tackle. Helps to prop it out a little bit as well. So I'm gonna use a few strands of peacock curl here. So we'll clip off our tips, secure that in place right behind the bead, just like so. And create a nice flat base here to wrap that. So I'll do a half hitch. Throw our bobbin on the bobbin cradle. Wrap our peacock. I'm going to spin this into a little bit of a rope. Make sure we cover up all our thread wraps there underneath. And work right on forward. Get one more over top. Really, this is a fly that can be fished pretty much anywhere, freshwater. Just a great atta attractor pattern. So we'll capture out that excess and clip out that material. And then we can come in for our soft tackle. So I'm gonna use partridge for my soft tackle. Soft tackle. So I got a feather selected there. And I'm gonna capture the tip with my hackle pliers. Just like so. And then we can go ahead and kind of strip them rearward to give ourselves that nice tie-in point there. And if you moisten the feather, it'll help get them to lay back and kind of out of the way there. So we'll tie that in, quick and easy like. that out of the way and then wrap our soft tackle. So I'm just going to pull it straight up, pull all those partridge fibers rearward and give her a couple of wraps here. Try and get that to lay where I would like it to. Everything going back. And then we can capture off our feather here. Clip out the excess material. And then we can kind of tease these fibers around Get them flared out for us. Use my bodkin. Kind of pick them apart. Just make sure that they're surrounding that hook shank evenly. And then you can kind of lay them down and do some locking wraps right over top. And then we'll go ahead and whip finish. 
I like the red thread on this pattern just because it gives that nice red head. I believe that's traditionally how this ply is tied. There's a guide's choice soft tackle for you.